Hi, and welcome to Tundra Sounds. Today we are looking into how we can use the DSi Tempest to create a basic drum kit and create a basic drum beat. And we are more or less doing this at the same time, like shaping the sound, tapping the beat, shaping the snare, tapping the snare, shaping the hi-hat, tapping the hi-hat with the pads on the Tempest. And the, the reason why I want to show you how to design and create a beat more or less at the same time is because some of you guys think it's too troublesome. It is spend too much time designing the sound and then all of your ideas are thrown more or less out the window because, well, you don't have time for the beat when you're designing a, a mediocre bass drum for uh, five hours. So instead of that, you will... Uh, create the basics of the sound that you're going for and then you will, after you're more or less done with the beat, you will add some textures to the sound then. Because that makes a lot more sense. So let's dig into it. So let's begin by creating a bass drum. We have no bass drum here, so I will go to oscillator, oscillator 1 sound screen and I will choose the triangle wave. I will tune it all the way down to D2. And it's deep enough now, I will just shave off some of the higher frequencies, the upper frequencies. And then I will go to the low pass envelope and open it up a little bit, or very much, all the way completely. And then I will just make it open in the beginning of the sound by decreasing the decay. Because I want that attack to be very sharp. And let's go to the pitch envelope to create a pitch drop. But not that much, maybe around 70 and then decreasing or shortening the decay. Sounds more like a real drum now. Go to the pad section here and uh, go choose quantize 16th. So let's see, rec and click, we need a click for the tempo and let's count here. One, two, three, four and boom. Boom, 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 boom. And then I will copy that one to over to the other pad here. Let's see. And I will create a snare drum out of this bass drum. So we'll go back to the oscillator one screen. Let's see here, oscillator one screen. And then I will uh, uh, tune it up all the way to D4. So that's in two octaves uh, above. But the pitch drop is a little bit annoying. So I will shorten uh, no, I will uh, decrease the amount. Now it sounds more or less like a tom or something. Not the best tom here, but it's, uh, closer to a tom. And uh, decreasing and shortening the decay. Now we can add some noise on top of that. Let's see, oscillator three. three. Uh, white noise, maybe. Uh, we will go to aux one to uh, choose when it's going to be open. So let's see. Uh, destination, uh, oscillator 3 level, go back here to the amount and I will open it up all the way and then I will in increase the decay and as you can hear it's uh, the frequencies of the noise is kind of strangled after the, the, the attack so let's go back to the sound here now and if I go further down the menu, you can see that the filter is strangling the sound. But now, now it's better. Let's go back and I will shorten the decay here and the amount. And now we can record the snare drum. And let's see, let's try to make a hi-hat out of that. Copy the snare over to three. And let's create a hi-hat here by eliminating and um, getting rid of the oscillator one here. So just the noise uh, and then go to uh, aux one envelope and shorten the decay. And now we want actually want the low pass filter to uh, <laughs> like shave off the upper frequencies here. So let's go to uh, this, the oscillator oscillator three 
uh, screen here and go to the post pre or post filter. I want it to be through the filter. So now it's a little bit more uh, strangled in a way. And I will go to the low pass uh, envelope here. Um, I will increase the velocity amount and I will go to the amount screen here. And if I decrease this, it will sound a little bit more closed in a way when I'm hitting it uh, lightly. And if I'm hitting it hard, it will sound more pronounced in a way, or the upper frequencies will be more open and um, apparent. So let's uh, try recording it. So there, okay, let's uh, create a more something like a shaker or something. We'll copy the white noise over to four. So the shaker on four will be longer, of course. And now I don't want uh, I don't want uh, low pass envelope to be uh, doing much. So let's see. Um, I will go back here and I will take choose post filter and go back to the aux envelope and I will let's see a little bit slower slower attack and a little bit slower uh, faster decay boom okay uh, and this time I'll go to pads and I will choose no quantize because I want it to be a little bit more um, live. Okay, so we have kick drum, snare drum, hi-hat, shaker. I could also create a open hi-hat, but now I just want to create a bass so that we have something to build a track on top of. Let's see. <laughs> 